Just before Hurricane Florence hit the Carolinas this week, President Donald Trump sent one North Carolina mayor a special surprise. It was much appreciated by the mayor, who was preparing for a devastating natural disaster. However, the liberal media has been all but silent about it, not wanting to draw attention to anything positive and slamming the president instead. Let's spread this everywhere. The nation braced this week for the landfall of Hurricane Florence, with residents of the Carolinas evacuating and preparing their homes for the worst. Meanwhile, President Donald Trump was diligently working to make sure that all necessary preparations had been made before the storm hit in order to ensure the least amount of damage was incurred as possible. This included making sure that FEMA had all of the necessary resources, as well as local authorities in the Carolinas. Typically, the president will establish a line of communication with a state's governor prior to an impending natural disaster in order to express the federal government's support in lending a hand at the state level. However, President Trump went one step further to make sure the people of North Carolina receive everything they need in the wake of Hurricane Florence. He is apparently putting in calls to local mayors, as well. On Thursday, during a media briefing on the approach of Hurricane Florence, Wilmington Mayor Bill Sappho's phone rang. Initially, he declined the call, as he was understandably busy with hurricane preparations. But, when the Washington, D.C., number called back once again, he knew that it was important, so he answered. However, it wasn't Sappho's representative in the House or the Senate calling to express their support nor was it an official from FEMA calling to brief the mayor on protocol with the storm fast approaching. It was the White House, and they said, the president would like to speak with you, recalled Sappho. To his surprise, the person on the other end of the line was none other than President Donald Trump. He offered any kind of assistance at the federal level, Sappho said. He understands this is a pretty significant event for our community. The storm's potential impact prompted President Donald Trump to make a surprise phone call to Wilmington Mayor Bill Sappho on Thursday afternoon. Sappho said Trump called to assure him that the federal government is watching the storm, and to open a line of communication if and when the port city needs aid. Source, Star News I told him that we appreciate all the efforts at the federal level, Mayor Sappho said. I'm sure that we're going to need some of their assistance when this thing is over. But he was very gracious, very concerned about what was happening here in the area. And I just told him that I appreciated his telephone call and that we'll be in touch. President Trump is doing everything possible to assist the Carolinas as they deal with the devastation Florence has brought. But, the liberal media prefers to ignore or criticize his efforts. Instead, they spend airtime blaming him for the death toll in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria one year ago. In actually, it was Puerto Rico's crumbling infrastructure that was responsible for the majority of those deaths, which simply cannot be pinned on Trump any way you slice it. Hurricane Florence made landfall on Friday morning as a Category 1 hurricane. Although gale force winds threaten much of the coastline, inland communities will be most affected by the heavy rainfall and resulting flooding. Please continue to keep the people of North Carolina in your prayers during this storm. There will be destruction, the likes of which many locals have never seen, but, together, we will rebuild.